So hi everyone. Microsoft has just now released bitnet.cpp, which is the official inference framework for one bit LLMs, as you can see here. So if you remember a few months back, there was a paper around one bit LLMs, which mentioned that there would be LLMs whose weights are represented by just one bit in the memory that is zero and one. So why they are so important? So if you remember that paper, uh, it says that if such LLMs comes into the picture, you can inference huge LLMs, say 80 billion models or even 100 billion models in your CPU without requiring much in hardware resources. So there they introduce the concept of one bit LLMs and introduce the model bitnet B1.58 if you remember, which use 1.58 bits for every weight, mod weight value. Now they have now come up with the inference framework that basically supports three models. One is bitnet B1.58 large, bitnet 1.583 billion and Lama 3 8 billion model which is represented by 1.58 bits. So this is very very important. Here you can see that the parameters mentioned here is 0 .78, 0 0.7 billion for the first model, 3.3 billion for the second and 8 billion for the third one. But here comes the catch. It is saying that on what CPUs such models can be now loaded out using the bitnet.cpp framework. So here you can see that they have mentioned the paper also there are one bit LLMs. If you remember, this was a revolutionary paper and it led to a lot of talks around mobile LLMs also where LLMs might get installed in your local systems as well and in your mobile devices also. Here they have represented some of the metrics around how much time it will take for loading such LLMs. Here you can see that a bitnet.cv can run a hundred billion bitnet b1.58 model on a single cpu this is revolutionary because 100 billion is a huge number of parameters achieving speeds comparable to human reading five to seven tokens per second so this is just amazing here they have also mentioned that they have reduced the energy consumption by 55.4 percent to 70 percent further boosting overall efficiency on cpu speeds are ranging from 2.37 to 6.7 with energy reduction between 71.9 to 82.8. So basically not just speed and not just hardware, but it is also helping you to reserve some energy as well. So I think this is a revolutionary framework that Microsoft has came in. And the concept is also very interesting because if this comes in, I think right now a lot of LMS requires you to have huge CPUs and GPUs. So that requirement will end up very soon. So here they have mentioned some metrics as well that you can check out some comparisons. Apart from that, they have also attached a demo for bitnet.cpp where the bitnet 1.58 3 billion model has been run on Apple M2, which you can check out the speed also if we just run this video. Here you can see that the speed looks quite amazing if you are able to see and I'm pretty much sure that in the coming videos, we'll be trying this model out. For using the model, I think it's very, very easy. Looks quite straight away. You need to get Kibonza repo and then do some installations. Right now it is not in pip install. So you need to uh, manually clone the repo and do the pip installs of the requirements. And then you can load up your Hugging Face CLI. You are downloading the model. On Hugging Face CLI, Lama 3, 8 billion, 1.58, 100B tokens model you need to download if you want to try that out. So right now the model is supported. Uh, the framework supports three models as I already showed you. And here it shows how you can inference the model. Uh, in all, the uh, framework is revolutionary. And I think I'm very, very happy that not just competing with benchmarking over certain metrics. Now the companies are also thinking about how to reduce the model size and how to make LMs available to everyone over CPUs because affording GPUs is not an option. Apart from that, what I feel is, uh, Bitnet.cpp will enable everyone to use LLMs in their local system because the concept of one bit LLMs will eventually make a uh, generative AI available to everyone because now it can be run on mobile devices as well, even on low specification laptops as well. And what I would suggest you is to try out the framework and let us know how you feel about the Bitnet 1.58 models and comment down below. Thank you so much.